Hi, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about how to browse a file and read a content in the file via Python. So that is what we are going to discuss today. And here I have the code and it's very, uh, very less lines of code here. So TK Inter is a very famous library which people will use to build a graphical user interface with uh, like, like Windows, uh, like you have some uh, a GUI with window, like you can create application like registration form, login form, and even you can create notepad or even you can create any kind of window applications with uh, TK Inter library. So I'm just importing uh, the respective libraries which is required and also I'm importing the uh, file dialog uh, package uh, because I'm going to open a file here. So I just import ask open file function as well and you have to create an instance for the TK Inter. So I created in this line and uh, geometry is like uh, uh, the window gets opened with some uh, uh, geometric like uh, the width and height. So that is what I'm the X and Y. So that is what I'm, I'm giving here the geometry and then I have written a function uh, open file function so here uh, there is a, a function in TK inter itself uh, like to open a file we can use ask open file and mode is read and file types so generally you, you remember like when we uh, open a file or save a file it asks for the file type right uh, on the right hand side you will be having a drop down list where you can choose all files or text files or or any other format so here in the drop down list i'm i'm going to show you that so it it it, it asks for it's a, it has it is allowing to read python files or it allowing to read text files or star so if i remove this right so it will it will read only py files it won't read any other extension files that also i will show you and if file is not none that means the file it has file so the file exists so in that case it has to read the file and then it has to print the content in the console okay so not in the gui so the next i'm, I'm I'm creating the actual command here. So I'm creating a button where the text is open and then command is lambda colon open file. So I'm using the lambda function to execute this open file within the command operation of the button. Okay. So if you just want to just browse a file, but I don't want to open. If you think in that way, you can remove this uh, piece and you can just add browse file. There is a function already exists, the command. So you can give that so the TK enter will browse a file, but it will not read and show you the content. So here I, I just want to browse a file and then I want to read the content and then I'm, I'm just uh, packing this. So I'm, I'm just giving the alignment here. So I'm, I'm just giving PADY as 10 and then the main loop, uh, it, it waits for someone to do some action. So that's, that's where this main loop uh, function I'm invoking. It, it waits for some kind of an action to get triggered. So now I'm going to run this code. Okay, so you can see here the TK inter window and the geometry is like 200 in 200. So that is how the window size it gets open and I can give this open option and uh, you can see there is no like uh, you can see here it, it by default it's Python file because the first option is Python file you can see here and then I have text file and all file. So I let me choose text file so that you can able to see this test. So I'll just open it. And here you can see hi, hello, that is what the content I have in the text file. So, and then I will close this so that the loop will get, ex I mean, the loop will get complete. This is the main loop. This will get complete. So, uh, if I remove this uh, things, so it will accept only Python files. Let me show you that. So, I'm going to run this code once again. Okay, so open. And uh, here I can't see any other options because I have removed it. Okay, so you can add as much as extension possible or you can restrict all restrict some extensions also. So thanks for watching uh, my video and uh, in upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to build a notepad application like step by step. So uh, just stay in touch with my channel and please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So thanks for watching.